Welcome to this week of our Environmental Principles and Systems course. Systems. This will be the topic for the week ahead. We will look at systems engineering and systems modeling. But what actually is a system? Intuitively, we all know that a system is a complex thing with many parts. The weather, for example, is a system. Can you think of another example for a system? Three things are needed to make up a system. The first thing are the components of the system. The parts that make up the system. The components need to be connected somehow, which means they need to be interrelated somehow or even interacting with each other. And finally, the interacting components need to work together in an organized manner to fulfill a specific function or purpose. Now, let's look at three examples of systems. Consider a city, a solar farm and an organism. Can you think of what the components, the connections and the functions of these systems are? It is very important for engineers to understand systems because we can only design or improve a system if we know exactly how it works. The best way to understand the system is to build a model of it. You will see in the lecture that there are different types of models we can use. One type are physical models, which are basically smaller replicas of real-world systems. Now, at UNSW, we are lucky. We have the Water Research Laboratory in Manly Vale, which has many physical models. For example, we have models to create and study waves or to test how water is running down a spillway or similar models. I suggest you go there if you haven't been there yet. Another type of model are computer models. You will get to know the World 3 model this week, which is a systems dynamics model that has been used to predict how world resources, pollution and human well-being, amongst other things, will change in the future depending on human behavior. And you will be able to run your own scenarios with a specific online version of the World 3 model. As always, please make full use of the online resources in Moodle. And I'll see you soon in class.